I took it and then boom, I get paid. If you see my earnings or if you saw my earnings, you will see there that, you know, I have like different payments. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista and welcome to Fit Hustler TV. Today I'm gonna talk about how I made $100 by doing this side hustle within four hours. Yes, this is legit and also if you want to know how and why, please stay tuned from here until the end and I will give you some tips and advice what I did so you will get your maximum earnings, all right? But before I start this video, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so and also the number one rule is smash that like button for me if you found this helpful and useful and share it as well sharing is caring right my content is all about fitness it's all about business side hustle and also some real estate strategies which i love doing so without further ado let's jump into it so basically i start driving for doordash if you don't know what doordash is basically similar to uber eats Basically, what you need to do is picking up some food and delivering to the customer. That's it, all right? So basically, if some customer or some clients wants to order some food, let's say they want to order some food from the restaurant, let's say a steakhouse, you need to pick up the restaurant or restaurant. You need to pick up the food from the restaurant from point A and deliver to the customer, all right? So that simply is. So basically, you're just driving for them. The question is, how I made the $100 in four hours by doing just this, right? Let me just give you my location. My location is from Florida, Orlando, Florida. If you want to be exact, I'm located in Claremont. So in Florida, basic pay here is not high compared to New York. Los Angeles, all right? So, you know, the minimum wage here, if you're gonna work here, probably around $12 per hour, $13. I'm not sure the minimum wage, but I believe that's the range for if you're gonna work for full-time here, all right? Like a normal company. But for me, which I did is like, I was earning 25 an hour by doing this side gig. So how I did it, what I did was I went from different hours. So I did from 12 o'clock, I start delivering from 12 o'clock until 2 o'clock and then I stop. Why I have to deliver from those hours? Because those hours are the peak hours. They called promotion hours. If you go look in their app, what you need to do is just look at it. What is the busiest time or in the busiest place where you're gonna go, all right? So that's what I chosen and I start delivering from 12 o'clock until 2 o'clock. I stop and then I went back in again from four o'clock till six o'clock so basically i did like 12 to two o'clock is two hours stuff and then four o'clock to six o'clock and then stop so basically i just made some different time so i will show you my earnings right now so basically that's my earning and bear in mind last night or yesterday it was Christmas Eve. So I did this like because I have spare time. I'm not doing anything from those hours. So I I said like or I decided like I'm gonna start delivering for this company or for this you know side hustle or side gig. So which is I did and that's what I get paid. So for me that is doable. Or if you're looking for side hustle or if you're looking for extra money, extra income, you know if you're short, I think this is the best side hustle for you. All right. The tips that I'm gonna give you as well is this: don't pick up some food from fast food restaurant. What kind of fast food restaurant I'm talking about? This is like McDonald's, like Subway, like Dunkin' Donuts or like chick-fil-a you know what i mean because if you're gonna pick up some food from those fast food restaurant they won't give you some tips well they will give you it not it's not gonna be like as much as you're gonna pick up some food from like high-end restaurant like let's say what kind of high-end restaurant i'm talking about this is like let's say steakhouse right we have a, a steak road steakhouse or we call it like some buffalo chicken wings they are like a proper restaurant or let's say olive garden you know those kind of restaurant they will give you some more tips and some of them they will order like a lot of food which is like you will get more potential to get more orders it means like more tips all right so the more orders that you get the more potential or the more tips that you can get 
you know from the order compare to the order from the restaurant or the fast food restaurant which is from mcdonald's subway etc what i've said it before all right but sometimes what you need to do is like compare the miles as well once you get some order or you receive some text from doordash they will say like how many miles that you're gonna take or how many miles that you need to drive from point a to point b so let's say they give you like our order for point a restaurant to point b is like five miles so this is my rules if i'm gonna start delivering like for five miles at least five miles or within five miles i will get at least seven dollars you know what i mean because you know from five miles at least you know seven dollars if i get paid i am like times my miles to 1.2 or 1.25 per mile so one dollar 25 cents per mile that's what i'm charging or if i get more let's say if it's five miles and i get paid for ten dollars or more it, that means like i will get like two dollars per mile which is pretty good you know which is pretty decent so if you get like an order from high-end restaurant plus your miles let's say you need to deliver for five miles and they pay you ten dollars or more or maybe $15 you know that's pretty good I will accept that order straight away that's my only like what I learned also take note they have like promotion as well if you go into the app in DoorDash you will see like promotion if you click that promotion inside the DoorDash or DoorDash app you will get like different kind of promotion like plus two plus three plus one very busy busy all right those kind of promotion that you will get it means like once you get delivered or once you have delivered the order from point A to point B you will get plus two it means like plus two dollars to your order or let's say plus three to your order bear in mind it is like Christmas Eve yesterday which I did this gig all right so I had like plus three in each delivery you know for some reason they pay you more it's because of Christmas Eve so I have those, those hours free so I decided to go for those four hours while I'm doing nothing instead of doing nothing at home so why go out and do this like for a couple of hours or for four hours and then see how it goes right basically that's how much I get for $100 so every deliver that I just did I have like plus three plus two plus one you know because it was so busy every single time that i deliver from point a to point b there's another order coming up if it's suit in my rule take it i took it and then boom i get paid if you see my earnings or if you saw my earnings you will see there that you know i have like different payments right i have like 35 dollars for first one i have like 28 dollars for the second one and i have like 38 dollars again for the third one so i get paid like different because i have chopped my hours i i didn't go from 12 o'clock until four o'clock no i have chopped my hours i stopped because you know that's what i felt because that's my availability if you know what i mean if you want to know like the pro and the cons i made some video as well by doing this side hustle or side gig if this is for you i will put some link up here or if not up here you know you click that link or that button there it will go through to my video that i made like some pro and tips you know if this is is for you if you want to do this full-time or if you want to do this part-time all right but for me you know i'm just doing this whenever i find some free time and you know why not if you get like extra money doing this i will grab it as long as i made some decent money i will definitely do it right so have you done this before if i miss something comment down below and you know share your experience share your thoughts if i miss something you know i would appreciate that also i am still like learning about this side gig or side hustle and my plan is i'm not gonna do this full time it's only like part time while i'm studying about getting my real estate license that's my current status right now because i am currently studying in the morning and if i find some hours or free hours in the afternoon afternoon I will do this DoorDash or like you know this gig and then earn some money while I'm start to studying get my real estate license in the future video once I pass my real estate license I wish I passed my real estate, real 
real estate <laughs> license it's a lot of things to study i promise you right it's not easy and then once i started that my real estate license or once i pass it i will show you how i did it as well and also i will show you some learnings or some experience that i did you know so if you're targeting that way as i like really investing in real estate i decided to get this real estate license so if you want to do that way you know feel free you just follow this channel or subscribe in this channel so every time i upload a new video you will get notified all right make sure to click that bell button i forget that you know before so click the bell button so every time i post a video or new video i will email you straight away and then you will get notified and you are the first one who will watch my youtube video all right so this is the video for today i hope you found this value if you do once again i'm just gonna say it welcome to the channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also smash that like button for me and share this video to your friends or family who's planning to do this side gig or side hustle so until next time thank you for watching from the start until the end you know watching me talking too much and watching my face like this for the whole more than 10 minutes all right until next time i'll see you on the other side and always remember stay hungry peace so and welcome to the channel and the number one rule is that smash